are just the fact he didn't get that 1,000 yards. Yeah, yeah, he was on pace for it, obviously. But coming into the season, people were saying this is going to be a good year for him and we're going to see a bright Melvin Gordon in the future. We saw glimpses of it. They restructured their offense in order to give him better opportunities, and he took advantage of it. Scary. He's only 23, folks. Back now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a football. They'll come up on a third and four here to start things out. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Gets it to Benjamin. It's gone. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Rivers now for the 50. And that is incomplete here. Antonio Gates, the veteran tight end, was the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. This is Gordon on the dump off. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On third down, Rivers. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Partner, how many times have you heard it? Pressure creates diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what they got. They got after him, and he was fortunate just to get rid of it. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. He gets it away, and I think they'll smartly play keep away here from Brown. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Now Roethlisberger on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And got his man complete. The 20. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Eli Rodgers, 88 yards. And the Steelers get the quick strike touchdown. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be taken about the 12. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now San Diego getting set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Second down, they'll run with Gordon. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. And Charles, I know Ryan Shazier who made that tackle. A youngster you like a lot. I love him, and I liked him a bunch coming out of Ohio State because the more this... Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off, William Gay. And he will be brought down as... What's that? Now, over the back. Okay, well, something happened to Larry in the halftime show. I guess we're ready for the third quarter. Let's go. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the that's last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you want. And that's caught inside the 35. 
And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Eli Rodgers, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it, and I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been, but it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make is that they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. He's by himself, Keenan Allen. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Rivers to Allen on the hook up there. 68 yards. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. A nice little completion there by Phillip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday. Fifth grade, Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations. So he clipped out. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Hunter Henry from three yards out. And the Chargers have made this a one-score game. Such an art to dot the I, just get the feet in right there against the line before going out of bounds. Such an incredibly graceful athletic play, but also a lot of practice goes into it. They work on that to make sure that they learn how to train their feet to get down in bounds. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. He's going to let this one go. And that's caught inside the 35. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Eli Rodgers, 75 yards. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Back now in Pittsburgh, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And now San Diego getting set to go. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. A first down throw here for Rivers. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in. Touchdown, San Diego. Tyrell Williams, 55 yards. And the Chargers are able to make this a close game again. And there's the touchdown that they needed, so they'll celebrate. But the guys on the sidelines, they've got to stay focused. The onside kick team, they need them to get the ball back. Yeah, part one of the equation done. Now they need to convert and get that onside kick. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And out of bounds there on the kick. And that first down. Three, 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 three. One receiver left, three to the right. Roethlisberger going to throw it. Going for the deep ball. And this is caught inside the five. And he's in. 
Touchdown, Steelers. Marcus Wheaton, 40 yards. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Steelers defense, we watch them get set to go. See if they can regroup a little bit. They gave up the touchdown last drive. And you know from our meetings with coaches all across the league, one of their pet peeves, when teams get down, a lot of these guys now, they, they want to treat it like it's a video game or something. Hit reset. Let's start over, coach. Now the first two series, they don't even matter now. Let's, let's play again. That's not how it works. You're down. You gave up a touchdown. You can't do it again. You have to dig in. Grit it out and fight it out. Reset buttons. It's driving everybody crazy. There are no reset buttons when you're playing in this game. Preach, Chucky. Preach. Now a desperation throw deep. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he just falls short down at the one yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. From the gun, Rivers. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. And he's a reliable target. He's more than that, though. I mean, look, I'm not going to say he's the best tight end in the league, but he's solid. Yeah, because he's able to block. And that's almost a lost art for a number of the tight ends in the league now because the most popular guys are almost what we call move tight ends, more like receivers. But those guys who can do it all, there's still a place for them in the NFL. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And the kickoff sails out of bounds, and that's going to be a penalty. You can see the looks on the faces of the rest of the team. You have one job to do. Just kick the ball and play. Well, that's exactly right, Charles. The kicker, this is just inexcusable. Absolutely inexcusable. Everyone out there slugging it out for the entire game. Execute your job. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout. So a defensive timeout. Chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Oh, Roethlisberger going to throw. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. So still seven yards to go here on third down. It's third and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They 